students of uh, the subject and scientific which is uh, animal nutrition and feeding uh, before we start uh, I'm hoping that you are all in good health and uh, doing good in your uh, other subjects in agriculture hoping that you did uh, watch the last video and understand it okay so uh, I am here to discuss the next chapter of our subject. Okay, so we previously discussed already the chapter one, uh, the definition of animal nutrition, the importance of animal nutrition, the role and the relationship between nutrition, uh, animal nutrition to humans, to the population, and to the economy. So now we are going to be discussing our next chapter which is all about nutrients so this chapter is a very uh, it's a very informative one it means that there are many topics that uh, will be discussed uh, in terms of time it needs a good amount of time to finish this chapter because this chapter, uh, this topic, nutrients, is broad and wide. No? Uh, it has uh, different subtopics that must be discussed and talked about. Okay, So, uh, we will do, just do it uh, one at a time. Uh, I will uh, not make long videos so that uh, you can just uh, watch it anytime and you cannot be you will not get bored watching my videos okay so now we will be talking about nutrients in general so what is a nutrient a nutrient is defined as a compound or substance needed to support the maintenance growth development lactation reproduction and health of animals so, a nutrient is a basic compound or a substance no? na gikinanglan sa usaka animals in terms of their so in terms of their maintenance, the growth, and the development of the animals in general. Okay? So, nutrients is required by animals. Each animal or livestock has its own nutrient requirements. So, Ang nutrient is needed sa osaka hayop, but each animal, each livestock, livestock, each kind of species of animal needs its own nutrient requirements. Kung sabot, kung baboy ka, nakikikinanglan na nutrient composition or nutrient requirements na para sa imo ang maintenance, sa growth and so on. So na nice specific para nimo sa asawa boy. Kung baka sad ka, na po specific nga nutrients nga gikinahanglan nimo para ikaw nga baka you will be maintained, will grow and will develop. Okay? So each animal has its own requirements. Dili po jud mao. Kay for example, ang baboy Nasa'y kaguling ng requirement. Ang, ang baktin, na po siya'y kaguling ng requirement. Ang 2 months old na baboy, nasa'y kinanglan ng nutrient requirements. 3 months old, ang gaburos nga anay, nasa'y specific ng nutrient requirements. Ang nanganak nga anay, nasa'y specific ng nutrient requirements. So, muna siya'y uh, pasabot nga it has its own nutrient requirements. Ang mga ayop. Okay. Next is, what are the essential nutrients? Hmm? Saan na mga essential? Kanang importante nga nutrients. Kaya na may nutrients na <coughs> okay rag wala, no? okay rag gamay ra siya, na may intake sa animal, but naajoy nutrients na kinanglan, di siya mawa sa diet sa usaka animal. 
Okay? So, there are different nutrients that the animals need. Amongst those nutrients are the essential ones. And the, um, the are, and are the um, most important. So, essential siya. Mo siya pinaka-importante. So, these are the essential nutrients. Essential nutrients are also classified into two groups. Okay. Ang essential nutrients na idwa ka grupo. Which is the macronutrients and the micronutrients. Okay. So, what is a macronutrients? Macronutrients are nutrients that is needed in large amount in a feed ration. So, macronutrients di ay nutrients na siya nga kinahanglan sa hayop in large amount or dinaghan nga quantity. Nga muna siya mo idaghan in terms of uh, uh, sa feeds nga inyong gi gama or sa feeds nga ilang gi kaon. Muna siya idaghan dyan. Macronutrients are consumed by the animals in large quantities in their diet. So, dinaghan ang macronutrients. Okay? They consume macronutrients in large amount. Okay. Micronutrients are nutrients included in a feed ration by mere small amount, grams or milligrams. So later, ma-identify na to uh, further sa itong discussion, unsa kayo itong mga under sa macronutrients, unsa sa itong under sa micronutrients. So we have to take note, macronutrients, it is needed in the animal's body in large amount. Ang micronutrients is needed in the body of the animal in small amounts ra siya, in terms of grams and milligrams. Okay? So, we have discussed already the essential nutrients. Unsa man kay na mga essential nutrients nga di nga kinahanglan sa mga animals nga kinahanglan dili mawala sa ila ang feed intake, food intake and diet. Okay? Unsa man kay na sila? So we have the water, carbohydrates, the fats, proteins, vitamins, and the minerals. So these are the six essential nutrients needed by the animals. Kani silang unum, di ni pwede nga mawala sa ila ang pagkaon. Kinahanglan nga naa na silang unum para mahatag ang nutritional requirement of that certain animal. Okay? So, these are the essential nutrients. Okay? So, among those six essential nutrients, we are going to discuss them one by one. So, first, we have to discuss the water first. Okay? Nga naman. Huh? Water is one of the six essential nutrients. And it is one of the most important nutrient. Okay, take note. One of the most important nutrient ang water. Often, it is overlooked and sometimes not considered as a nutrient. So, usahay, makalintan dyan. Especially sa mga tao na kanabitang, uh, they're not really into uh, animal production. They're just doing animals, taking care of animals or managing animals for the sake of having those animals. Sila, usahay, ilang ma-overlook na, dili nila makita usahay nga ang tubig di ay is very important sa animal. Di nila mabalansi nga ang water is a nutrient. No? Why is it a nutrient? Why is it water a nutrient? It's because water alone has many elements. No, nagkana ka yung elements sa water and these are needed by the animals. Um, sa mga na, uh, elements such as iron, zinc, copper, iodine, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, magnesium fluoride, sodium and more. So, kung mo nang lantaw ng unsay na sa water, dagkan ka yun na siya nga importante nga elements which is needed by the animal gapon so wa that is why water is very important and it is considered as a essential nutrient okay all biochemical reactions occur in water so biochemical reactions such as uh, kanang digestion absorption 
okay they have chemical reactions it occurs usually in water so kinahanglan nga na tay tubig kay kinahanglan na to ang biochemical reactions no kanang the biochemical reactions are uh, uh, activities inside the animals of the uh, body of the animals uh, that is being catalyzed by enzymes no so if those chemical reactions uh, are not present then possibly there's no proper function of the body of the animal so kung para mo exist ang biochemical reactions in the body of the animals they need water for those for those reactions to exist okay so animals need fresh water for their bodies to function that is very very true no animals need fresh water for their bodies to function uh, sometimes ito there is ato ang mga animal projects dire mga hayop ang dili sa sa bayso uh, especially sa pigiri na to na maguol kay ko kay na due times nga magka problema ang tubig no magka problema ang tubig nya sa baboy man kun water is very very much needed dili lang kay gamito na to siya as panglimpyo sa sa ato ang babuyan but it is needed para sa ila ang pag-inom and pigs consume a lot of water problema ko sa dire kay white tubig mo abot muna nga usahay mapugos ko gamit og water sa irrigation canal no so uh, sometimes magduwa-duwa ko but it's it's better than none no it's better than nothing to to give sa inyo ang baboy so water is very need, needed especially fresh water and water is the most abundant nutrient so most abundant mo pinakadaghan og source no di man ta mo ka problema uh, basta lang di lang madaot ang linya sa tubig no abundant you can find water anywhere an animal can live longer without food than without water so this is true also uh, bahala gwa pay feeds why gikaon nang imong hayop gana basta kay naalay tubig okay they can live longer bisa pagkita mga tawo bahala og wa tay pagkaon basta naalay tubig okay na amot na kamo mga estudyante no kami kasulay mi when i was just studying in my college years uh, sometimes kanang mahurot ato ang ato ang allowance uh, gipadala gahapon ni paggabi nila agta nahurot pagkaugma so wanay palit og pang pangmamahaw panyudto panihapon tubig na lang ha i know maka naka experience ang mga nayan ang nga chances nga wala na ipalit og pagkaon tubig na lang atong itubig ginom dato na lang ikatulog no still uh, we are uh, alive and we are still functioning with uh, uh, our body is still functioning so what is the function of water eh water regulates the animal's body temperature so it's very important nga maka inom sila og tubig uh, mabasa sila og tubig because it helps uh, regulate their body temperature because some of the animals body temperature becomes high and in terms of uh, kanang their movement and work no pareha nang inyong kabaw no for Two to three hours nga pagdaro sa usa ka area ninyo. You have to rest them, di ba? Inyo na napatunaan nito para i-cool down ang cool down ang ilang temperature, body temperature. So you need water, painon ng tubig, no? Sa muta and sa summer uh, time, no? It needs water to co- to regulate the body temperature. Helps also in transporting nutrients in the body. So we all know that the circulatory system is uh, uh, the ones that is uh, uh, doing the transportation of nutrients. And with that, ikinangla na og kanang tubig. Kay kanang blood, it's composed of water. And it's still, the water is used to transport the nutrients with, in every part of the body. Next is lubricates the body. So kung walay water, okay? Ting ugaha kay na to. Ato mga bukog, no? Magsigig abot na sila, magsigig bangga, magsigig bangga. 
no? Mga bali atong mga bukog kung walay water nga you as use, use as a lubric lubricant. Okay? Okay? It also provides caution. Caution means kanang uh, mura bag kung sila pa kung kuan pa kanang foam sa imong katre, no? So, if an animal will fa fa fall down, tumba siya, mingga migin. Ang water nga nasa yung body, muna siya marag mag, mag uh, salok sa pressure sa ilaang lawas. So, it will provide caution. Next is required for milk production in lactating animals. So, kanang gagatas ninyo ng mga hayop, grabe kayo nasa amino mong tubig. And it's because they are producing milk. No? Uh, you have to take note that the body, animal's body needs about, uh, is composed of 70% uh, water. Average of 70%. Yan ay water sa body sa animals. It differs lang sa different kind of animals. So, imong nun na on, kung 70% of the animal's body is water, di ba? You have to think that water is really needed for the uh, animals. Okay? So, I have here a table of a sample animals which requires water. Ila ang animal, uh, water requirement nila. So, I have here the beef cow. Beef cow ka ng karne. Yeah, lactating ka buros. So, they need 60 liters of water a day. Dairy cow ka ng pang milk. No? Lactating, 90 liters per day. Maintenance nila is 60 liters per day. Sa kabayo, medium work, 40 liters a day. Apoy sa lactating is 50. Na ako'y kabayo dire. Uh, if uh, mabalhin na sila, then time noon utubig sa akong assistant. Kana ako sa kabalde, sometimes kulangon. No? Sa mga tagi dagandagan ako na ng adlawa, kulangon ng sa kabalde. Sa poultry or hen, they just need half a liter a day. It's because uh, in chickens, they are uh, uh, not, their body is small and they don't need that much of water. So, half a liter is good enough for them. Swine, so sa baboy, uh, in terms of mga weight, sa 30 kilos, 6 liters a day. Sa 60 to 100 kilos, nasa 8 uh, liters a day. Sa lactating or gagatas, 14 liters a day. So, kaya mong tawo na, needed kaya na siya sa imuang baboy niya. Nakakidaghan kaya yung baboy siya yung pigir eh. No? Daghan yung kaya tubig yun ang lahat. Okay, sa ship, same. 6 liters sa lamb, 4. So, you have to take note that in swine and poultry animals, uh, water should be provided at libitum basis. At libitum basis, unlimited. Unlimited, unlimited means there is water there every time the animal needs the water. Okay, so that is a libitum basis. Okay, so I think that would be for the this part. Uh, the next uh, five essential nutrients will be discussed for the next video. I will discuss it one by one. Uh, maybe uh, find a way to uh, to be particular with the different essential nutrients a discussion at all. Okay. So hopefully you did understand and please watch the video, uh, my lecture video in my YouTube channel. It's because I have already checked it in the analytics of my YouTube channel. The average uh, watch time for my videos is just about one minute. No? So, bupasabot, inyo rin ang scan ilang taw rin yun na tama na na eh mag-awas sa pun mo. Dili ninyo humanon. No? So I what uh, I already observed that from the last video then I give you an assessment. Inyo assessment mulayo sa answer sa ako ang gi lecture ninyo. So wala dito sa gi lecture, wala dito ang inyong answer nga gi butang. Okay? So take note of that. Kanang basi gato mo nga dili ko makabalo, si gato mo di ko makatik. Okay? So take note, you have to watch the video. Okay? So, thank you and be kind to animals.